G'day guys, how are you going? Shane here. Today we will review the new Spice Gate system, Opto. Let's go. The deck, some stickers, the wheels, 70mm, 78A, the riser pad, skate tool, the bolts, the surf adapter, octo meaning 8 little extension springs inside this one I'm not sure what it is probably a tool to change the spring so this one is the double up spring the trucks Okay, so this is my first ride on the Spice Gate Octo system. What I found was that it was very easy to pick up speed and very easy to carve. Going rail to rail feels very smooth and very stable. The length is 32 inches, the width is 10 inches at its widest, 8 inches at the inner bolt line, six inches where it curves in. The wheelbase from inner bolts is 18 inches. The wheelbase from axle to axle is 19 and a half. This is my first ride in the ball. Overall the setup feels pretty heavy, but if it's just for carving up the wall, then it's totally fine. The bore did feel pretty narrow where you actually put your feet and this does not add to the stability 
and doesn't want to make you push too hard on it. Good job, quick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The Octo system has a lot of rebound and has a very smooth rail to rail, making the Infinity Loop very easy to do. Alright, so let's see how SpySkate has developed its own version of the SurfSkate adapter. So here obviously we have this SpySkate Octo, we have the Yao V4, the Yao Meraki, the Kava C7 and the Aquilo um, system. Different companies use different kind of spring mechanism to bring back the axle to center line and basically it's either a compression, a torsion or an extension. The Yao V4 uses a torsion system. Same thing here with the Yao Meraki, it's a torsion system. The Carver C7 uses a compression spring. The Smooth Star Thruster would fit in this category. The Aquilo uses two compression systems. Sweltec also uses two extension springs on the outside and one big extension spring on the inside to bring back the axle to center line. Unfortunately, I broke the outer one, so you'll have to settle for this. Spicegate uses eight little springs to bring back the upper plate or platform or disc to center line.
So what I found was this little piece here didn't fully lock in the capsule, making it loose. Now, I put the SpiceGate Octo system on a deck that I like better. It's wider where you actually put your feet and I feel more comfortable on it. I think it's sick. I like it a lot. Um, it's super turny, which I love. It feels like my Yao. The wheelbase on this board is perfect. It's the same as my Yao, which I love. The only thing is it's really heavy. So that's a drag. I thought my Yao was heavy. This is heavier, but oh my God, the system, it's perfect. Really, really nice. Um, as good as the Yao, but too heavy. In summary, I think the Octo system works amazing on flat surfaces and has a very nice surface feeling to it. It is very beginner friendly and picking up speed is intuitive. This is the system that I would use to help beginners learn to generate speed, whether the ankle wiggle or a full body pump. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, cheers!